Okay, so in this example, we'll be configuring IE. So for that, we need to switch to a class called as Internet Explorer Driver Driver equal to New Internet Explorer Driver. And let's see what system property we're going to get if I comment out this, run this. And here we'll get the same uh, illegal state exception set by webdriver.ie.driver. So this should be ie.driver and the path to the ie executable file, which I'll, again you're going to get it from Selenium HQ. Go over here. Now, this is not, uh, you may not going to find it over here because this is uh, mentioned on the very beginning iDriver server. So again, uh, based on your Windows, but uh, here i is only for Windows, right? I'm not going to work on Linux or Mac. So i is only for Windows, and the recommended version is 32-bit, not 64-bit. Because 64-bit, even I have tried, it is very, very slow. The execution is very slow, right? So 32-bit is what is recommended for 64-bit OS as well, right? So we'll be downloading this 32-bit uh, file, and is already there in my compressed files so ie this is the one extract and you get the executable file copy this and paste it to your executable ie driver server so just copy this name and paste it over here my driver server.exe. Save this and run this and let's see. Started. Okay. See what happens. It started Internet Explorer on the latest API itself, but it says session not created. Why unexpected error launching IE? Protected mode settings are not the same for all zones. Enable protected mode must be set to the same value. Enable or disable for all zones. Right, so this is something very important. We need to make sure when you're on iBrowser browser to go to internet options, security, make sure all these protected modes are enabled and should be at the same level. Click on apply, okay and now run it again. See, this launches the browser. But it is not navigating to the website. Let us look back at the console. We again got some exception. Let's try reading it. Again, the exception is session not created. Unexpected error launching IE, browser zoom level was set to 150, it should be 100%. So this is another thing that we need to configure. Go over here, say zoom, 100%. That's it. Save, run, and let's see. See, launches IE, and it's navigating to way to automation.com, right? And done, so no errors. So this is how you need to make sure to do, do this configuration when you're working on IE. Now these configuration can be handled via coding part as well, right? We can do right now what we are doing, we are uh, executing things on a website, right? We, we navigate it to a website and now we'll, from the next line onwards, we're gonna start performing some automation testing on the website. Now at times, instead of website, you need to configure your browser. So there are some classes available which will actually gonna help you in configuring your browsers as well, right? So I can show you that code right now, but uh, like that code, you might not able to understand it at this moment. We will be covering this in our upcoming lectures, but still, if in case you want to see that, so that thing can be handled programmatically as well. Like if in case I don't want to do manual configuration of my IE browser, I can do it something like this. I'll show it to you. Give me a moment.
so this is what that I'm talking about uh, give me a moment right over here where have I kept it okay Let's see if I can get, yeah so this is what you need to do so there's a class called as desired capabilities right which is not only for I through this class you can define the capabilities of any browser you want right this is an internal selenium class right so in case you want to work on I call it through I otherwise all these browsers are available Android Chrome Edge Firefox IE Opera Safari right you can define capabilities of any browser so at this moment we are defining capability of IE we are saying that introduce flakiness by ignoring security domains to true and ignore zone uh, zoom settings to do although this thing is deprecated and it is achieved in a different way but at this moment we're going to see this example only and later on I'll going to show you a better way of doing it so just copy this capabilities and pass it to the constructor of your browser class right because if you just create an object of this class a default constructor is called which launches by default browser but if you want your browser to be invoked with some predefined configuration you need to pass these capabilities over here like this see right now it shows deprecated but don't worry about it it will still gonna work now what I'll do I'll go back to I and make the zoom level to 125 percent go to security and again I am going to low it down right and disable this and let's run it again and see what happens see this works at 125 percent as well and without uh, doing anything on the uh, security end right so this is how through coding part as well you can achieve these things but we'll be looking at these things later on not at this moment right but this is something that is actually available in this API right so so far we have seen configuration for IE Chrome Firefox these are the three very widely used browsers right and now uh, since from latest Windows 10 we have edge browser as well available so let us do something on edge as well so I'll say edge driver edge driver driver equal to new edge driver import run let's see what capabilities we got what uh, property system property This is something related to edge driver. So over here, we'll be giving edge. All right. For edge, we need uh, another executable file. Go over here and download the edge. That is Microsoft Edge driver. Right. So you will gonna get. Uh, download somewhere from here although we use it very less but yeah this is Microsoft web driver so download this exe file the latest one let's see where it is downloaded so it's not here let me see let me try downloading it again. It's not showing me the location. Yep. Open folder. Okay, it's in a separate folder. Microsoft WebDriver.exe. This is the file that we got. So I'll paste it to uh, executables and then give this exe path save 
and run this again. See, it launches Edge and navigating to way to automation.com. Right? So, you have seen four browsers now. We have seen Edge, we have seen IE, we have seen Chrome, we have seen Firefox. Right? So, these are the four browsers we have seen so far. And we have successfully done configuration on all these browsers. All right?